They've got the great emu war as a start date. I don't care if it takes me hours. I've got things I need to do today, but all of it is secondary to beating this. Okay, well, Belgium's conquered half of Germany. China has taken out Russia. Spain has taken out Ukraine. For legal reasons, I'm not officially saying that this is an E4 knockoff. I'm merely satirically pointing out the similarities in two pieces of art, both beautiful in their own way. Though, in this case, one of them is a clear mobile port and thus hurts to play. Allow me to introduce Age of History 2. I want you to know that if you have English represented as the American flag, you're doing it wrong. You just are. Okay, so welcome to Age of History 2. Uh, this is, I believe, like a mobile game port. Uh, we're just gonna see how it goes. Seem familiar to you? <laughs> so we start in the age of feudalism. The age of feudalism. <laughs> Uh, in 1440. Uh, we can also do other things, like different scenarios and stuff. We're gonna stick with 1440 for now. We might explore the other stuff a little bit later on. So, you might have thought that was the Byzantine... No, that's the Ottoman Empire. Uh, the Byzantine Empire is in control of Istanbul. Would you believe it? Oh, Jesus. Right, let's have a look around the map first things first. See how similar it is. Okay, uh, well, we got our three miners here. Nice. When was this released? Probably after a couple of E4 updates. Scotland is a grey for some reason, but otherwise, for the most part, I don't know why they haven't just gone full E4 colours. Because clearly, like, I'm gonna be honest here, clearly some inspiration was taken. You don't pick all of these different colours for no reason. Wow, even in this game, the uh, new world is under flesh. What the hell are you? Would you look at that? There's a province in the Caribbean. E4 doesn't have that. Better game. Before we get into gameplay, I want to check out the different ages. I just want to see what else is going on here. Age of feudalism. We can go over to the Sengoku period. Nice. What else we got? I'm not liking this wipe. You know, it, it's it's obnoxious enough in uh, in YouTube videos, let alone this. Okay, so this just kills like half the world and puts you in a scenario. That's kind of cool, to be fair. I I, I actually kind of like that. Victorian era, the American Civil War, the Boer War. Again, I I hate to admit it, but that's actually. <laughs> Game of the year. Game of the year. That's amazing. You play as the emu. What else do we have? Uh, World War II, but we start in Uruguay. I feel like there are other theaters in World War II that are a little bit more uh, pressing than Uruguay. Uh, we've got the football war, the modern world in 2018, and the warring states period. Okay. Ancient Greece, Jesus, there's a lot. I have to say, I like the idea of having isolated scenarios. That's kind of cool. But we are going to be playing as this. Nope. Uh, thi nope. No. Just give me a state in Europe. That's not a state in Europe. We're going to be playing as Brunswick. Brunswick? Really? Nah, you know we're playing as the Ottomans. All right. It's drawing the borders. And it, no, we are playing as Brunswick. <laughs> oh, this is so clearly a mobile game. Uh, if I zoom in too far, everything starts getting blurred. Okay, don't zoom in then. What do we have here? We have our diplomacy points, our movement points, treasury. Uh, let's put up some, we'll put up the tax to about here then. I don't know what that means. Goods. Well, let's let's. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna play tall as Brunswick. Why not? Well, uh, let's add points in population growth. That'd be nice. Um, let's add points in research. Just gonna try and explode in population. We just by doing that we've increased our population growth by eighteen percent. Oh look, there's there's elections of the Holy Roman Empire, and everyone is voting for themselves. Okay, cool. Yeah, bureaucracy voice. They've even got cores. Like this is this is so obviously uh well I'm, I don't know if I can set it for legal reasons. This is so for satire purposes, this is so obviously a knockoff. War can't be declared in the first four turns. They've even got the stupid restrictions. And why is Copenhagen all fancy and wiggly? Oh hang on. We can get a, a different map modes. Type of terrain. Okay, they've got the terrain map mode, profitability, diseases. That's a cool map mode. Nice. It's so self-contained. It's stupid. Okay, political map mode. Let's just hit next turn and we're just gonna see what's happening. Oh great, there's no speed five. So how long, wait. <laughs> there is speed five. <laughs> oh, England has taken half of France. Aragon's taken half of Castile. Everywhere apart from Europe has disappeared. <laughs> okay. Hungary's taking the remnants of the Roman Empire. No, the Ottomans are still around. They're just uh, not doing too hot. And uh, well, everyone else got deleted. And they say it's not Europa Universalis for. This is the direct definition of that. Right, well, let's see what we can do about conquering. So, recruit. We'll send an ultimatum. Here we go. Or all of our units will invade. I want Byfield. I don't know if they agreed. I don't think they did. Right. Move them all in. We lost every single one of our men. And now we've been sieged. How did they beat 
an army four times its size? We lost, I think. We're dead. I just like Cologne has taken all our land. So what can we, what can we really do? Type a message. <laughs> he does the keyboard on the screen. People are unhappy. Yeah, I wonder why. Because we died. All right, let's let's play a different nation, one that I can actually beat. So combat makes no sense. We know this now. I'm gonna try this again, and it's it's picked us as Bastar. I'd rather not play as Bastar. I want to play as the Ottomans. That's such a weird. I have to select and then select. Okay, that's weird, but we move. Um, you know what? We're gonna play as France in the Hundred Years' War because that should be a relatively easy thing, right? I'm gonna leave everything as is, and then we're just gonna focus everything on military upkeep and the rest of the world has disappeared again so if i'm not actively hovering over them if they're not in my line of sight they die that's a lot of responsibility right we need to declare war on the english and then we're gonna march in all of our troops so we have four times their number we won okay brilliant don't know how we lost that other battle then oh okay we just instant it's like hearts find four we just instantly take things move to here Go. Ah, we've caught them. Why can't I move? They can't move the troops. <laughs> why, why not? None of the hotkeys work. That's the thing. It says like, oh, F4 and stuff, but it doesn't actually work like that. It just, it. I don't know why it, it takes so long to do anything. I've been encircled, but my troops still aren't moving. Look, England's like gassing it around my entire nation. I can't, I can't move. Brilliant. I don't understand how to do this. All right, surrender again, I suppose. Yeah, don't show me a, a thing of my defeat, please. Okay, that didn't go so well. Random game. That's, all right, that's what we want. Random game. Play. This might have been a mistake. This is just the thing. So what now? The Byzantine Sassanid War? There's a, like, okay. There's so many more scenarios than, than what it what it first said. Like, year five, year one, I can play Sparta. Right, I want to play as Tunisia in the year 2018 which presumably was when uh, work stopped on this game. Okay, I'm gonna try and play tall as Tunisia, because I don't think militarily we're not gonna be doing that great. So, here's the plan. Raise taxes to the point where people are gonna be slightly unhappy. Increase goods to the point where we're gonna start losing money. All of our research points are gonna be in population and economy growth. And then, we simply press the space bar a bunch. This is how easy it is to fix world problems. Oh God, what happened? Oh, the game saved. Nice auto save feature. Didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, and we're gonna build a farm in, uh, we can't afford that. We're gonna start investing in our future, boys. Uh, Iceland is improving relations with, with us. That's, yep, yeah, good, as as planned. Oh, I can't have a farm here. Well, let's get a workshop. We'll get the industry of Tunisia going. This is good. It's actually kind of like relaxing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we've moved past the, the, the relaxing part. We've gone straight into dull. I'll likely be cutting most of this out. I don't know what rank we started with, but we're 81st now. All right, we're still hovering around the 80 mark. We're going to try and climb through the rankings, but I'm not sure how. It's now 2032. What's the world looking like? Uh, it, oh, uh, uh, Italy is conquered. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, Italy's conquered parts over here. Oh, I didn't realize that, uh, uh, that Spain was neighboring me and Egypt has taken out Libya. But Libya took out Northern Sudan. All right, there's a lot going on here. It's, uh, it's an interesting move that I didn't expect the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, the United States has taken out Mexico. Uh, why wouldn't they? And Australia is uh, half dead, apparently. All right, well, I suppose that's uh, it's going to take out the Libyans. Gonna save the game just in case. Libya, declare war. It's time. We won! Oh no. I'm so confused as to how they can do this. <laughs> like, my troops just don't move. Like, Gervis is now gonna get taken. All right, we're taking out their troops. Nice, okay, this is good. The issue being, for whatever reason, I, I can only move sometimes. I've been surrounded. For whatever reason, it takes so long. Oh God, I need to recruit more troops. But I can't do anything. I don't understand why I can't do anything. This game makes no sense. Look, I click on the thing. I click on Tunisia. I can't do anything. Like, they've taken my entire nation. I can't move. What the hell is going on? I don't understand how he can take like 15 moves in the time it takes me to do one. And that's it. I've lost to the Libyans. Tunisia as a state is no more. I hate this game. This is horrible. All right, let's, let's try something else. All right, let's try the football war. It's a really localized conflict. Maybe I can understand how war works in this game. Okay, I'm going to get a second army. I feel like that was my failing the first time around. I say we call it a draw. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lose to El Salvador. There you go. Just, just ruined me. This time we're gonna be playing as El Salvador. We've got an achievement. Initial discoveries. Capture 10 provinces. That's nice. Our nation has fallen. And I've lost again. I just... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna go to the tutorial, and we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna learn because this is really pissing me off. I skipped breakfast to record this. I'm not happy. Right, it's simple to learn yet hard to master. You son of a bitch. Okay, so I've done the uh, I've I've done the tutorial now, and I'm none the wiser. I think I learned less. I've regressed, but somehow El Salvador started with more territory this time. So. Okay, they actually start at war. Okay, this is this maybe I have a chance. Right, we won. Nice. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I hit enter. <laughs> I'm gonna win this goddamn war. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I've killed off all of his troops though. So I'm gonna move half my troops up here. Other half go to El Salvador or San Salvador and take it back. Okay, you go into there, all of the troops. You go into there half of the troops the other i'm learning boys the other half goes there 108 troops there 162 go there 224 go here okay he's surrounded there is no way he can go bang bang this is it did i do it <gasps> yes come on god that i mean i'm a genius okay i, I think i'm ready for the main scenario now i get it now i get it i understand my camera doesn't understand how to stay in focus. Now, boys, we go back as Tunisia. We're going to try and take out the Libyans. This is it. All right, we declare war. I'm sending most of my men there. Go. I'm going to send the other guys down here. Go. That's a lot more troops than I was expecting. We've already lost. Ah, yes, of course. The same game I made. Rather intelligently. <laughs> is this cheating? I feel like it might be. Uh, 500 there. And the rest of you lot are going to go there. They are a little bit faster than us. And they're, oh, there's a lot more. Yeah, that's a lot more troops than I was expecting. It has to be said. Did not expect them to have 800 troops in reserve. That's fine. Okay, they've, they've captured uh, Tripoli again. Those will be my movement orders. And they've killed me. But we killed them. Okay, 113 troops that way. Okay, all right, it's fine. We can, we can still make this. We can still make this work. Yeah. The Tunisian armies. They answer the call. Okay, uh, 600, you're gonna go there. You're just gonna go and capture Tripoli. Ah, you've fallen for my for the classic blunder. I forgot that they had troops there usually. Okay, but that should be us now. Okay, so 1,600 troops. No. Did I just get them to switch play? I did. Okay, that's that wasn't smart. There we go. I did it. I. I. I did it. I, I don't believe it. We conquered Libya. <laughs> I forgot they had something to do. I, I can't do anything uh, because Egypt uh, isn't giving me military access. Hey, I took as much land as I could, but we did it. We did it, boys. We did it. We've got to assimilate these provinces. But ladies and gentlemen, we won. We're now ranked 78. God, who'd have thought? Meanwhile, uh, Belgium continues to, to dominate. What are the rankings? Uh, Japan's number one, then India, then the United States. Where's Belgium? Well, Belgium apparently don't rank as highly as Romania. Oh, what the hell is this? Russia has taken back Alaska. No, wait, what? Is that just wasteland? Okay, Alaska just doesn't exist. That's fine. Well, in any case, lads, that's where we'll leave it for today. Um, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments down below. Uh, if you want this to become a Age of History 2 channel. I think that's the name of the game. Um, uh, uh, hey, that's daily content from here on out. Just Age of History 2. Uh, we're going to play every single scenario, every single nation. So if that's something you want to see, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons. J Erickson321, Shadowsinger, Jado52, Cargan, Flyerton, Henrique, Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.